Okay, parents, um, for tonight's homework, I'm going to show you how we worked on it uh, doing subtraction with our number line step by step. So if the kids forget a step, you could show them. First of all, let's take a look at number six. We have 755 minus 315. First of all, when we do write this, we know we start off at 755, but we also take 315, we write it down into expanded form. For instance, it'll be 300, 10, and 5. The kids know how to do this, by the way. So that we take a look at the first number, it's 300, and we're going to subtract that first. So we do a backwards leap. We put minus 300. We scratch out the 300. And we know 755 minus 300 will be 455. Next, we look at the 10 spot, and we notice we're subtracting a 10. So we're going to take a smaller leap and put minus 10. And we know 55 minus 10 would be 45, so it's 4. 45. And last but not least, we have the ones place that we're subtracting, which is the 5. So we're going to take another small leap, write down minus 5, and 445 minus 5 will be 440. Now I did ask the kids to make sure they check at least one of their answers today. They're going to do that by using an inverse operation. For instance, if they take 755 minus 315, the answer they arrived at was 440. So they're going to take 440 and the number that they subtracted, and they're going to add those two together, 315 with 440. And of course, it comes to 755, which was our original number that we subtracted from. Uh, now, here's the issue too. Sometimes we come across numbers where there will be uh, regrouping necessary. For instance, we break this down to 200, 10, and 7. Now, if we look at this, when we subtract the 200, we know that it's going to be 136. Next, we're taking away the 10, so we're subtracting 10, and that's going to be 126. Now, here's where it gets tricky. We look at this 7. Okay, If we were to subtract that 7, we would have to go over and borrow from the 2 and regroup. I told the children the best way to do is to take this 7 and turn it into some two different numbers that we can subtract easier. For instance, if we look, this is 126. We could change 7 to a 6 and a 1. That way we take away the 6 and it becomes 120. And then we could just take away the 1 to equal 119. 